how to create a flipbook using Canva. Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make a interactive flipbook with Canva. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you might be wondering is what is Canva? How do you make flipbooks and what are flipbooks? So Canva is a platform where you can design different things. You can design presentations, social media, market campaigns, videos, marketing offices, office items. You can design anything you want on the Canva platform. Now, then you might be wondering, okay, so you have decided to make a flipbook. What is a flipbook? And how does it work well if you go on and search for flipbooks online you're going to be able to find that in many ways most people are looking to create any kind of interesting book as a flipbook so it could be a photo collage that is actually a flipbook it could be from any category any niche that you want and it can be renamed as a flipbook so a flipbook is basically just a collection of images like a presentation would be so in the gist of it you're going to be making a soft core presentation when you're making a flipbook so you can see over here that there are many different things you can make a flipbook about it could be cooking it could be fashion it could be a ad campaign it could be a restaurant campaign it could be anything you might have thought of so how do you get started with creating your flipbook well I like to start off with a blank canvas, but you can always start off with a template. But I like to go into the presentation section and I like to just start off with presentation and you can even go with a custom size. So you can just click on custom size and depending on your page length, let's say you're doing a six by nine page. So add six by nine and make sure that you convert this into inches, not pixels. You're going to click on create new design and this is going to open up a blank canvas for that size. Now, you know what flipbooks are, but where are you actually going to be using these flipbooks? Well, I would suggest that if you're making a flipbook, then try selling it on Amazon KDP as well, because you're going to be able to make a bunch of side money with your flipbook if you publish it on Amazon KDP. So for your flipbook, you need to start off with your initial front page and back page, but you're not going to be designing that over here. This is the standard size you're going to use for the images within the book. And after that, you're going to later on take a template off of Amazon Amazon KDP and then design your cover image for your flipbook over there. Now let's just say I am doing a fashion flipbook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for sparkles on the element section. So make sure you're on the element section. They have a template section, element section, upload, text, and more section. And on the more section, you can add your own photos, audio styles, videos, backgrounds, charts, folders, and then you have apps and integrations as well. But I'm just going to search for sparkles in the element section. And you can see over here that there are many different things you can add but I really like this design so I'm just going to open this up I'm going to rotate it to the side and I'm just going to add this to the side of my page and I'm going to do Control c and Control v and then drag and drop it over here like this so once I have done that what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my blog with a square so I'm just going to search for a square over here and I'm going to go into the graphics and within my graphics, I'm going to look for a simple square like this. So I'm going to edit the color of the square and make it black. I'm going to expand this and I'm going to send it to the back like so. Now I'm just going to click on uploads over here and I have uploaded a few images. Now I have this person's image over here. Now I can upload this and I can do like a kind of initial look over here so i'm going to rotate the square in the back rotate this first add the image over here actually i'm going to add the image down below and move the square below as well like so so i'm just going to move things around until you find that they have been set up properly like this expand it a bit more like so and make sure everything is aligned correctly like this and like this so once you have done that, you're going to just click on text and then you can add any text that you want. There are text combinations on Canva as well. So you can add some text combinations. I'm going to add a simple text combination that is not too much, but it's not too simple like this one. I'm just going to add this over here and I'm going to name my flipbook fashion forecast. And then I'm going to what the modern woman is looking for like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this text and place it just above the center. Now, it's not exactly centered, but it is just above the center. 
Now, once you have your initial page design, you're just going to click on add page and you can even replicate pages if you want. But I'm going to do the same process again. So I'm going to go on to the element section. And now this time I'm going to search for background instead of just sparkles because I want a solid background for my next page. I want it to look interactive. And you can see over here, this is a very nice little design. And I'm just going to expand this over here, place it on the back, just expand it till it fills out the entire page like this. And once you have filled out the page, I'm just going to change the color into pink because I really like pink. So I'm just going to go for this kind of pink. And once I have done that, I'm going to go into the element section once more. And I'm going to search for fashion over here. And now I'm going to go into the photo section. So I'm going to move away from the graphics and now go into the photos. I'm going to place the, or before you even place your photos, you can do another technique. You can search for square once more. So I'm going to go with a square. And I'm going to go into the graphic section. I'm going to add a basic square to my page like this. I am going to make it white instead of pink. And I'm going to resize it like so and like this. And I'm going to control C and control V. And I'm going to drag one to the bottom as well. And now I'm going to search for fashion. Then I'm going to go into the photo section. Then I'm going to add a few images. So I'm just going to resize these images to fit the squares that I have made. And I'm gonna resize the squares a bit more too to make sure that I don't ruin any of the image perspectives for my images. Make sure the images are centered onto your white little square and just add a couple of images. I'm just gonna do a quick look through and you can always use images off of free image platforms like Wekteezy to add to your own flipbook. But I'm just gonna search on the actual Canva platform. If you're not able to find it on fashion, I'm just gonna search for hats. So I'm gonna search for hats over here and then I'm just going to add this image like this and I'm gonna add it over here. I'm gonna add this text and I'm gonna go with hats are back. And then I'm going to resize my text block, change the color of my text into pink, and then place it right here at the center of my page like this. And if you find that your text is being drowned out, you can go and search for another square. Go into your element section, search for square, go into graphics. And you can always add some different squares as well. You don't have to add like a simple and basic one like I do. You can add something a bit more interactive or you can even add some of these photo frames to your picture. So add one of these as well if you want a far more interactive look. But I find that the basic squares look a bit better digitally. So that's why I like to add those. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a simple block like this and I'm going to change the colors to pink and black. So I'm just going to drag this to a larger size and then I'm going to reshape the text to fit a bit better like this. And obviously you can change the colors to whatever you like. Now I'm going to go with a black and pink combo over here and you can always group select items as well. So let's say if you have an item like this, you can do this and now you can resize the entire thing like this. So you don't have to resize each and, in, each and every individual item. And this is how easy it is for you to create your own flipbook. Now, once you have created your flipbook like this, you can just click on the present section over here to view how your actual flipbook is going to look like once people are presenting it. So you can see this is what my flipbook is going to look like. And you can add transitions if you want as well. To add transitions, you just click on the page, click on animate over here and you can add any transition you want. Now, after you have added all of that, you can download it as a PNG, JPEG, PDF, or PDF print. I would suggest go with a PNG or JPEG file, but usually I would just say go with the standard PNG, and then you're just gonna click on download, and your flipbook is ready to be sold on Amazon KDP or whatever platform you might want to present it on. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and you're now able to create your own flipbooks with Canva. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Video.